Some good old fashioned light news out of last week is the newest Gerber baby is the first adopted spokes baby in the company's history. Little Magnolia sparked an idea for me. I said to myself, hey, why not give a brief history of the Gerber baby through the years to start the week off right? I know some of you may know all the details, but some of you may not. So here we go. Gerber products got its start thanks to one baby back in 1927. Dorothy Gerber started training solid foods for her seven-month-old daughter, Sally, per the advice from her pediatrician. Mrs. Gerber became a pro at this and bam, got the idea that fruits and veggies could easily be done at their canning business based in Fremont, Michigan. The stuff looked so good that workers in the plant said, hey, could we sample some of that for our own babies? And ta-da! Gerber Baby Foods began. Now it's the later part of 1928 and Mr. Gerber starts a new baby food campaign and naturally he wants to find a new baby's face to represent it. A contest ensues and people submit portraits in a super fancy oil paint style and then some people just stick to simple pencil sketches. And the winner was Dorothy Hope Smith of Westport, Connecticut. She was an artist specializing in children's drawings and she submitted an unfinished charcoal drawing saying that she'd only finish it if she won. The drawing won, but to her surprise, the judges wanted no changes to it and it was perfect as is. Now the fun part. The identity of the baby was kept secret for 40 years until 1978. People were guessing that it was somebody famous, but no, not really. Ann Turner Cook was the Gerber baby. She became a mystery novelist and a retired English teacher by the time she grew up. So now fast forward to the beginning of 2011, the company decided to start looking for the next Gerber baby. And since then, there's been first time spokes babies who were twins, first time spokes baby who had Down syndrome, first time spokes baby of Hmong descent. And then now to recent history, Magnolia was chosen from 327,000 entries as the first adopted Gerber baby. You'll see her face on the company's social media channels and its ad campaigns throughout the year. And there's your five to know of Gerber baby history. I'm your host and producer, Matt Cardona. I'll see you tomorrow.